Well, I'm Warren Weber and of Star Route Farms in Bolinas and also down in Thermal, California in Coachella Valley. And I started in 1974 and it's an organic farm, has been since the beginning. In fact, it's the oldest continuously certified organic farm in the state. And we began, you know, with five acres and some horses and uh, we just expanded over the years. We were part course of the organic movement, which was an industry growing 20% a year. So a lot of the small farmers like ourselves kind of kept growing with that, with that movement through the 70s and 80s and 90s. In the late 90s, it changed very radically. Uh, the big grower shippers uh, decided to, that they wanted some shelf space <laughs> and that they wanted to, the conventional, some big conventional growers decided to convert to organics because it was a real industry by then and they did that and that kind of reshaped who we were because we couldn't we weren't large enough to compete with the five and ten thousand acre farms when we found out that uh, all of a sudden we weren't wanted at the way in the way we wanted to be wanted with getting the prices we wanted um, I foolishly kind of hung on for about a year and a half kept spending money Kept planting, trying to get more product, and it wasn't happening. And so uh, we lost we lost a lot of money. It was a big deal. And I think worse than that for me was the psychological end of it. You know, I'm really not a great risk taker. Although maybe I am. I, I don't know. I don't I don't welcome it, but I end up kind of taking it. Um, but it was, a, it was a psychological blow, very difficult, very difficult. We had to, we had to stop our production in the desert. Um, we, had, we had a, at that time, we had a distribution point in, uh, in San Rafael. All of our product was coming in there. We were even doing CSAs with other farmers, and we really were kind of pushing the business up. And uh, uh, we, just, we, we just couldn't. We had to get rid of the uh, facility in San Rafael. We stopped production in the desert for several years. We had to retrench to Valinas and we had to figure out well, what are we going to do and where's the money going to come from. So that was that was tough. That was a tough time. But we, you know, as I said in my little talk, I mean one of our principles was, uh, you know, um, who wants our stuff? And at that time it turned out to be um, restaurants and chefs. In this case, with from chef to chef to chef. Unfortunately, the food, the restaurant business was so uh, terrific in um, in that period in the in the late 90s and the turn of the century that uh, chefs would take us with them. So we, you know, we like started with Chez Panisse and uh, a few others, but basically with Chez Panisse, and we went with Paul Bertoli over to Vettos and. Jeremiah Tower went to Stars, and we just took these chefs and then their chefs and went off. And you know, they're continually doing it now. It's a huge universe of stars out there, you know, of restaurants. And um, that's been very good for us. Uh, our crops have been changed a little bit over the years. I mean, we were limited in the variety of crops we can grow because of our season. We're in a cool Mediterranean climate, so we don't have warm nights. So we don't do warm, uh, hot, warm weather vegetables, mostly leafy greens and carrots and onions and a lot of things that cool. They're fine in cool climate, but we have scores of crops, dozens, and uh, we continually experiment. I mean, for example, with lettuce, we've practically grown every variety of lettuce, um, and we've now over the years experimenting and we're really growing maybe um, eight or ten varieties now. My instincts tell me that uh, to be aware of the change in the wind and then start thinking about it. Uh, try to get there sooner rather than later. Try to see the shift in the wind. I, I don't, I'm not planning to change a lot. We keep experimenting, we listen to what people want, we try to keep doing that. Um, we tinker here and there with, you know, how, how we market, but not too extensively. Mm -hmm.